Hey guys, in this video I will show you the best breach guide which you can use right here on Peril and we will start right here when you are defending on a with flashes. So firstly, very simple flash if you want to peek aggressively is through this corner. You want to flash through this corner and the flash is going to peek or oh, I mean blind anyone right there. So therefore anyone who would be right here in main, a main and looking there, he's going to get blinded by the flash from here. Another way how you can do the flash is simply doing this. And the flash is gonna pop right here once again and super easy to see and hard to see coming as well if you are attacking and you want to go inside two of the two of these flashes i find the best ones firstly this one you want to place your crosshair anywhere on this on this wall and pop it the flash is gonna pop right here and it's gonna flash anyone in these spots most importantly anyone who would be backside or anyone here at the secret other way how you can do this flash is by simply right flashing through this corner like this. It's gonna pop right here and as you can see it would, right it would bite even anyone in A-Link, secret, right backside and anywhere there. So just simply place your crosshair and do it as high as, as you can just like that. So that way it would blind more of the back side and anyone A-Link. Super easy to do and it can blind anyone. If you are defending, there's plenty of spots how to blind. One of the ways would be simply blinding through this wall and begin with it. Or if you are playing in the backside, you can simply blind through this. Once again through this, or you can just simply throw your flash like this. So that way it pops right here. Super easy to do and it can get you free kills by doing these. Another way how you can blind the enemies is by simply flashing through this as you can see this blind anyone here at the beginning of the round and you can have your teammates push with it you can do multiple flashes and just call out for your teammates that you are doing double flash and the enemies would be right here are would not expect anyone to push this super quickly and double flashing through this wall right here on mid you can be going right here at these doors and the best flashes are these two simply this one through the corner of this or very simply, you just can flash through the wall right here and it would pop right here and blind anyone in these spots. Both of these works perfectly fine and this can get you a free kill by simply timing it well with your teammates. And of course you can do this the other way around as well by simply flashing right here and if you've popped your flash right there, it's gonna blind anyone on middle. If you want to peek out of art, you can simply do this. Just simply flash through this statue, I mean through this pillar, and blind anyone in these spots. If you are coming out of a big club, you can simply throw flash like this through this corner. Right here, if you want to take the control of the long, since usually enemies would be standing right here or holding anywhere on this spot the long area. So this, this flash would blind anyone who would be close as well. And most importantly, people right would be in these spots. And if you are pushing further, you can just simply do your flashes either right through this wall, like this, so that way it would blind anyone who would be right here in the backside. And it would right pop there. right here. Or other way, which is a bit simpler to do, is by simply throwing your flash right a bit higher, so that it is harder to turn it so the enemies cannot see it coming immediately and it would blind anyone in these spots of course if you are defending there's plenty of ways that you can do flashes if you are playing here in the elbow or these holes just simply flash like this and this one would blind anyone on long and you can peek with it there's plenty of more ways that you can do this these flashes you can either flash through these boxes like this and peek and this flash would pop right here and anyone in this area is gonna get blinded. And if you are coming out of tower, I would recommend throwing flash like this. That way, if the enemies would be holding tower, they would never be holding this left side. They would be most, most likely standing like this, so the flash would blind them here. Or even if they would be right here, they are most likely to be standing anything like this. Not to hold anything like this, so don't flash this side flashed from this spot right so that you are using your flashes correctly let's move on to aftershocks there's few spots which are good to know that you can aftershock firstly this one you can plant your spike right here and have a post plant with breach even as you can see on the minimap this is gonna go all the way in the back 
and anyone who'd be trying to defuse is gonna get killed by this aftershock so definitely use this other way how you can use this is by simply checking if there's anyone behind the scabby or you can do it as well like this to clear that there's no one in secret or if you know that the enemies are they have sky or sova right they would usually try to drone or use their dog from this right spot there. since it's pretty safe to use so definitely if you hear them use it just immediately after shock this spot and you can get a free kill and open frag for your team right here on b there's few aftershock spots which you can use firstly there's this one if you know that the enemies keep planting in this corner just simply do this to pose to delay the plant or you can play even after plant from that spot or if they plant right here and you are in elbow just simply do this and you can do a lot of damage to the enemies or you can simply do it through the through the wall like this as well super easy to do and it can get you a lot of damage to on the enemies if you are attacking you might want to check to clear this with aftershock like this or you can just simply do your aftershock like this so that no one peeks you when you are pushing you can combine it with flashing in this spot and you can and your teammates can dash in and push the elbow since the since it would be hard for enemies to dodge the flash if that would be the aftershock now let's move on to some useful fault lines very simply a fault line like this can clear the whole left side or you can do it more to the left so that there is no one holding it holding you from pushing and they would get stunned super easy to do and it works perfectly another spot that you can stun are these stairs for example like this or other way if you have your teammates pushing to the art right here or to a restaurant just simply start it like this you want to stand the back of the the back of this box so that's the spot where usual enemies can hide and this whole this whole line as well if you want to push into if you want to push into the b link you can stand like this to make sure that there's no one holding you from pushing in this in this connector right here since this is pretty annoying spot to clear great thing about fault line is that it can reach all the way into the elbow right there and you can just simply do this if you want to pick long so that there's no operator holding you and the enemies have to move move back so if even otherwise they would get hit another fault line that i find useful is very simply doing this standing in this corner and placing it like this and it would sp stun anyone who'd be in these spots hiding uh, or waiting for you they would have to move back or you can aim a bit more to the left since this is a pretty common spot for enemies to be in as well and once again it can get anyone here anyone under this spot or anyone in this elbow super easy to do and usually stuns someone who might be close if you are taking make sure you stun anyone in the elbow by simply doing this and have your teammate push with it anyone who would be in this spot is gonna get stunned and he he should be a free kill for you now let's move on to ultimate when you are attacking right here on a side i would recommend you doing something like this as you can see on the minimap or i will like this and you can then use your fault line for the right side so simply do this and use your fault line on the right side just like that so that everyone is gonna get stunned and you can push into the side super easily but make sure you call it out for your team that you're gonna fault line right after this right side otherwise they might run into enemies who are not stunned yet and using your using your fault line light i mean your ultimate right here on b is super easy as well just want to do something like this so that way it covers right this whole area and you can push into the side and anyone who'd be right here is gonna get stunned you want to you want to have your smokes in these spots so that you can push in so yeah those are some simple tips and tricks with breach on better battle hopefully this video is gonna be helpful for you guys don't forget to subscribe and leave a like and see you guys soon bye